Story time with Fergie and friends. So exciting, so exciting. It's Chinese New Year. I'm so thrilled. Happy, happy, happy New Year. I just, you know, I, I just love it. It's so exciting to celebrate and have joy and full of colour and dragons and, and magic. And, yes, Happy New Year. It's the year of the ox, which I love as well. But also it goes on for at least a good few days. So I think we have a few more days to wish you all a very happy new year. Let's read my fortune cookie. Are you ready? Are you steady? It's exciting, isn't it? Ah! Right, hold on, where are my reading goggles? Let's see, would you like to share it with me? Let's read what it says. Wisdom goes not always by years. You see, that's why, that's why I talk to all of you children. Yes, you are very wise too, you know. <laughs> My fortune cookie has told me this. This is true. I believe that everyone deserves respect and kindness. And whether you're just born to, like my grandson, or whether it's to when you're 110, everybody is wise and everyone deserves respect and kindness. And the smile says so much, but costs very little. Happy Chinese New Year. And... Ting is my book, Ting Pen. So Ting Pen and I are coming to China and we're coming to see you. Well, to everybody, Ting Pen is a great story. Now, for Fergie and Friends, um, it's, a, it's quite a long story. Uh, so I'm gonna show you some beautiful photos. Look, here he is with his panda. And, uh, and I know I've read it to you before. So we're just gonna read, we're gonna read you some snippets uh, so that you can just see how exciting that Ting Pen's coming. And I'm going to really get you excited. A long time ago in the great lands of China, there was a battle between good and evil. In the beginning, the winds of good traveled the vast lands of China, spreading a message of goodness, courage, dreams, and wisdom. Hope was strong, the future bright, and everyone prospered. The people said that the good winds appeared to them like a bright, cloudy unicorn. In China, the unicorn is a symbol of goodness, and the unicorn protects children. The people became bright and cheery. They worked hard towards their hopes and dreams. The winds of doubt looked like a, a cloudy grey snake, horns on his head and evil in his heart. When his chance had finally arrived, he flew across the lands, bringing misery to everyone he met. He whispered to the children, all is lost. There is no hope for you. You cannot learn. Why learn when you have no future? But there was hope. Mm. At the same time lived a boy named Ting Pen. It was, a it was hard growing up for Ting Pen. His mother and father moved away to the city to find work. Ting was left with his grandfather and his younger sister and brother. But Ting was brave and hardworking. He helped his family to survive. And Ting then taught his young sister and brother the skills of reading and writing. His grandfather also taught him Kung Fu and swordsmanship. Then one day came the news that all was not well across the land. Ting desperately wanted to help, but he did not know how. Soon the answer would arrive. One, two, three, boop. Okay, here we go. I wonder what it's going to say today. Ha, 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 ha. Share your happiness with others today. Well, we are, aren't we? We're sharing happiness. Well, what? I like these, don't you? We should do what? Wait, why don't we every day do a fortune cookie or, 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 or why don't I make up a little saying? Wisdom goes not always by years. Share your happiness with others today. We certainly are doing that. Happy New Year. Story time with Fergie and friends.